Hi, everyone. We're broadcasting from Slim and Main Stadium, home of the Terra Bay Mutineers. A lot of Mutineer fans enjoying some good tailgate fun out in the parking lot. Yeah, but instead of tailgates, they got planks, and they're making the other team's fans walk off into a shark tank. Like I said, good old fun in the parking lot. Let's play some mutant football. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New Orleans Zombies battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? <laughs> the panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Please want a bucket of oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. I do. just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot and the defense gives up five yards there. <laughs> Second down and five. Hot. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's a run for no gain. <laughs> Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Ooh, hope he's got a good kind. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Hot one. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot, hot one. He had it for a second there. Third down and 
three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot three. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he missed. Oh, that's got to hurt. Snatched in midair by the worm. This is First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot, hot, hot. And he's running like a moose right now. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. Hot, hot one, hot two, hey. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. Wasn't ready for that at all, Bricks. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. And it's first and ten. comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. First down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one. Hot two. Hot the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Ah, oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown!
And here comes the extra point attempt. And this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Kick it as hard as you can, partner. And dang, it's really important from this distance. And probably a smart idea. Uh, I thought he was going to make it. Yeah, so did his coach. Someone get that shotgun away from him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out a flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. And uh, now that is weird side effects, Bricks. <laughs> game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Let me tell you, get the shot, this no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shot my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room. Into the 
First and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down and two. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them for the first down. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your head. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. No matter what's so frustrating about kickers, they're all head cases. All that work and they come up and... It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, jeez, Grim, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. Yeah, you know what? They're too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go.
third down and never going to happen. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Second down and six. Third down and ten. First down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Hey, man, I was keeping on schedule now. You know what happened? Third down and long. the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too new. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Rex, I'm stopped. But you're right there. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. Oh, man. You know, they train those things to eat only visiting players. But when they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Yeah, sometimes I eat my toenails. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And this is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> 
First down and forever. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the freight cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? No. Nope. Well, on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down in a very lot. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when he got bloodthirsty nukes on the defensive line. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> and then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for him. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And 
it's first and ten. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. He punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. Talk about butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak! And into the end zone with a burst of speed. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. down and well good luck well, the, week the quarterback said they blow up the defense today <laughs> he was right Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. <laughs> Not much there, maybe a yard. Third and two. One in for the first down. Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole one I lick either. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. <laughs> Second down and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and more than the QB would like. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The 20. One hell of a run for a first down. It is not over yet, folks. Let's see what they come up with next. And it's first and ten. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sense. I took it as a compliment. Nicely done for a first down. First and two. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The Mutineers deliver a bloody good win for the Terror Bay. It was quite a nail-biter today. They came up big with a one-point win to seal the victory. Who wants wings? I do. Make them extra spicy. I like it when they come out hotter than when they go in. I'm buying. Let's listen to the MVP. Maybe he wants some wings, too. I'm a ass camel on shimmel. I don't want to kill it off none of them. Grim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...